Okay guys, so in this video what I wanted to do is I want to talk about ball striking, if you like how to compress the golf ball and how your shoulders have such a huge influence on your ability to influence compression and better ball striking. Now the first thing that I would say is that the, often the reason why I talk about the term compression on videos as opposed to just better ball striking is because a large proportion of people that I know that practice have to practice off a area like this, which is like that artificial turf. The disadvantage to this, you see, is what happens is if you hit the ground early on the artificial turf, the surface is firm enough that the club will bounce off. But also when you hit in towards the turf, the ball sort of gently, it sort of jumps up a little. So it's almost like you're sort of teeing yourself up every time you hit a shot. And before you kind of realize it, because you're only going to hit balls down the range and you're only interested in like the result, you end up sort of practicing quite bad habits where you're just ingraining this poor contact. So a golfer will know if the striking's off, but using the term compression tends to attract a little bit more interest. Now, what we need to do to be able to compress the ball or become a better ball striker is we need to control the low point and the low point needs to be an inch beyond the ball. So we wanna make sure that club is striking an inch beyond the ball, similar to where I'm demonstrating here. Now, the reason why most amateur golfers struggle with this is to do with the shoulders or in particular to do with the head position. So most golfers have a tendency to sort of move the head off the ball, okay, based on the idea that you want to try and get behind the ball and stay behind the ball and hit it from the inside. All those sort of narratives of, of what you've sort of painted this picture of. But the problem is, is this encourages a flat shoulder turn. And then as you sort of stay here, the club comes down too early. And then off this sort of surface, you kind of get away from it. You know, you kind of go like this and this, and the ball might go quite high, um, but equally the result is maybe not too bad. And you just keep ingraining that in until you go on the golf course. And then you notice that there is a drastic problem because if there's grass behind the ball or the conditions aren't perfect, you start to notice that you're struggling with that low point a little bit more. So a couple of things that I'd like you to sort of experiment with, particularly if you are somebody who is suffering with your ball striking. The first one is in the setup position itself. So if I kind of got set up here, as I normally would, I start, as you can see, or uh, as I will explain, I start with, I would say 60, 65% of my weight on my lead side. Now, a lot of golfers I meet end up too tilted, 50-50, but can you see the difference? All of a sudden, being more here is gonna give me a much better chance of controlling that low point and hitting through the ball. Being more this way is gonna make me more prone to moving off the ball with a flat shoulder turn. So the first thing is, is actually just keep your alignment. So you can see I'm not changing my shoulders in terms of I'm opening them up, but what I am doing is I'm moving, see what I'm doing here? See, I'm moving a little bit more into that lead side. So see the way my left leg just starts that little bit more sort of flexed. And that's why I'm just starting with a little bit more weight on that lead side, because it's helping me get that feeling that I am over the golf ball where I want to be, like so. So that would be the first thing. Now, in the backswing position, all you want to do then is just turn, keeping your you know head nice and still. So turn, nice shoulders, 90 degrees, keeping your head still is all we need to do in the backswing. But in the downswing, we need to understand a couple of things now, right? Because what we are going to try and do is we're going to try and strike an inch past the ball. So that's going to be our, our big agenda. And the way we're going to do that is by moving left. Okay, so literally, you know, I could kind of move and then just move left and I could strike an inch past the ball. We've got to do it with a blend of rotation, but I want to put the emphasis on at the moment that we've got to move towards that sort of left-hand side. Now, if I sort of swung back and then I move towards that left-hand side, as I just demonstrated, I would be able to hit the ball, okay, an inch past the ball, absolutely no problem. But what would also happen is I'd get a bit stuck, okay, because there's no space. So that's where our rotation comes into it. So we want rotation. But again, I always find when golfers try and force rotation, they get a little bit lost in it. So what I do with a lot of my students is we use a chalk line, but we draw two lines. The first line is we draw it an inch past the ball, okay? And that encourages us to get that initial low point in contact. But I also then space our club head and draw another line. Okay, and the idea on the other line is that we've got to keep turning so I can hit past the ball. Do you see what I mean? Because you might be somebody who moves like this and then you go like this, but as long as you move enough left, you might be able to hit that low point. But what you won't be able to do is you won't be able to hit the second line without some rotation. And that's where your shoulders really come into it. Because if I just put my left hand only on the club here and take my setup position, Okay, you can see the way the back of my left wrist is angled like so. 
But if I open up my chest and my shoulder slightly, see the way my lead wrist now starts to flatten a little bit. So we need this chest rotation or the opening of the shoulders to be able to help us keep the club low to the floor to really complete that low point and really keep controlling it. So, like I said, the first thing that we have to understand is shoulders in the setup position, don't have them sort of too tilted because it will generally lend itself to a flat shoulder turn and the head moving. So try and sink a little bit more into the lead side. So the feeling is you get your left hand reaching down to your lead knee, so your shoulders are a little bit more horizontally placed. From here, rotate around your head, and then as you initiate the downswing, same again. I want you to try and keep your head, allow it to move a little to the left, but as we transfer and we rotate, that's gonna give us the ability to hit an inch, but also keep the club lower to the ground so you could take a nice divot to the point where it'd be opposite your lead ankle. And having the ability to do that will mean that your shoulders are working well, but it'll also mean that you're gonna have really, really good ball striking. And you're either finally, or you're gonna rekindle that ability to compress the ball. See you guys again really soon.